I'm Dave Politis from Missing 411. It's a special edition. We're from Sydney, Australia. And we're on the outskirts of Sydney, just slightly north, in a city called St. Ives. We're at Kuru Gai Botanical Reserve, just on the outskirts of Kuru Gai National Park. In fact, on the other side of the creek here is the National Park. We're here because of the disappearance of Gaida Koot an 84-year-old lady. She was a volunteer here at the park. She came here regularly, walked the trails, and assisted the rangers in their efforts to keep the park clean and move small foliage. She was a regular, according to the park officials. Well, on December 3rd, Gaida came here, parked her car, and essentially vanished. They brought in tracking dogs, hundreds of searchers. They found nothing. And just as the search was getting underway on December 5th, two days after she was reported missing, heavy storms came in and impeded the search efforts because of heavy rains, flooding, etc. And that was off and on for several days. Well, it's been a couple years now, and her remains have never been found. They never found any evidence of her even being here except for her car. There's a lot of theories about this but there's nothing substantial to really point in any direction. For our efforts, the concerns being is that the National Park's on the other side of the creek. It's a rural area just on the outskirts of this little, tiny, quaint city in Australia, and it gets rural very quick. Within just a couple miles of this park is the city. Now, I've been walking the trails here for the last hour and a half, and we've seen a couple of park maintenance people, but that's it. It's the winter months right now, it's June, and they would call it cold. It's probably in the high 60s at this point, a slight breeze, but it's gorgeous. We're here at the falls next to the creek, and we're walking the Mueller track around the perimeter of the park. You're gonna see a lot of things on the trail that are gonna remind you, big boulders, Lots of thick foliage, water right here. There's a giant inlet within three miles of this location where the creek flows into. So there's a lot of things that match with missing 411. Again, two years, guide has never been found, multiple search efforts. It's one of those things that brings sadness to the community because she hasn't been found, especially a, a nice 84 year old lady who had no harm to anyone. So anyhow, I'll give you this guided tour of the area. We'll talk some more in a little bit. So one of the things that Gaeta liked about the park was its botanical aspects, the fauna, and as we walked around, we saw nothing but just beautiful foliage, things like this right on the trail. It's quite a bit different than the states and Canada, and you could almost say it's lush. Lots of eucalyptus trees, a lot of things that we just don't see around North America. But uh, we'll continue on down the trail and we'll show you some more of the sites. Well, we've been hiking for about two and a half hours on this perimeter trail. Like you can see, it's just gorgeous. The winter months have a lot of water. You can see in the background that uh, the water is flowing briskly here. As we've walked the trail, we've seen puddles along the road here. A lot of lush, beautiful fauna. You can see why somebody would come here on a, on a daily basis to hike it. The uh, skies today, gorgeous, 
warm under here. It's about 70, 72 degrees. And we're going to continue on. We don't have that much further to go. And uh, we'll eventually bring you around to the visitor center and show you that. So the path today that we took started off at the visitor center, went out, went all the way around the perimeter of the park, and this whole interior area was searched multiple times on multiple days. The idea that you could take a couple hundred people and search this area thoroughly is pretty, uh, pretty tough to believe. There's too many boulders, plants, etc. It's hard to believe that it could be thorough. But in talking to the people, some people think she's not here. Others believe that she may have been here because her car was here. It's hard to say. But the park is large. It's about a three and a half mile hike all the way around the perimeter. So we encompass most of it. And we showed you a pretty good sampling of the type of boulders, plants. There's kangaroos here, giant lizards. We talked to some people in the park that even said that there's some deadly snakes but they're rare to be seen. And especially now in the winter, since it's pretty cold, they're hibernating. So this, this will give you the overall perspective. So I just got done talking to a couple rangers here at the park. They don't want to go on camera because they're afraid about losing their job. A few interesting indicators came out. One said they they thought the police told them that Guido was, had early forms of dementia and she had wandered away inside the park. The reality of it is, is that nobody really knows and searches turned up nothing. Another ranger in the park stated that they never thought she was in the park. Uh, her car was here, but they thought maybe somebody else had parked it here which is an interesting twist because she was a volunteer here and worked with the other people. So if somebody did park her car here, somebody knew she came here on a regular basis. So whatever happened to her, I suppose it may be a lifelong mystery because in, in the history here, after several years, there's no clue of what happened to her. Sad ending to a story.